Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. Uh, check it out. We got we got wheels in. It's in that white box there. You can't really see anything, huh? It's just like totally. Oh, you know what? I have the exposure set. There we go. Because I was making that hood video with the welding, and I wanted it consistent. So we got tires, and we got wheels. So let's check out how well these wheels that we had to wait for over a month to get fit on the car let's see can you see us can you see us look at these look at these so big and wide huh oh And they don't fit at all. So, is that awesome or what? Totally hitting the caliper. So, the deal with these wheels are if you order a custom offset, it's yours forever. And uh, I talked with the guy at the store and I told them, hey, you know, here's what I'm doing with it. You know, it's going over this axle and these brakes and uh, I've measured all my offsets and stuff and is that gonna work out, you know, can you guys do that? And the answer was yes. So, um, the face of this does not fit this Mustang caliper at all. It's, uh, it's too shallow and it dives in from the barrel uh, too much. So get, it's actually 15 inch. If it was 15, it would clear, but right after the lip of the wheel, the bead, it dips down another probably an inch on either side and uh, comes in and makes contact with this caliper. So, um, overall, I'm not real happy with my uh, experience with the company. Uh, I called them up, ordered it. They said it'd be a week. I waited three weeks, gave them a call, and uh, they said, Oh, yeah, man, we're just going to call you. We can't make your will. And uh, so I said, you know, I, you don't, they said they don't have the insert that they needed for the will. So I said, well, any, any metal insert will do. You know, I just want it to be a still will. I have to have this offset. And, uh, and they said, okay, well, we can do that and just wait. You know, we'll have it out on Friday. And, you know, Friday came and went. And, and I think they got shipped out around Tuesday or Wednesday of that following week and uh, yeah it's just uh, just shitty I mean uh, I feel like I feel like this it's my fault for not definitely making sure that this was gonna work I'm not sure how I could have communicated that better maybe I, I could have took and said like hey here's the overall width of these and is that gonna clear uh, you know including the caliper uh, but you think you know I, my, my fault, I, I took 15, I mean 15, and didn't know that 15 was gonna mean 14. So, uh, you know, my bad, and, uh, and I'll eat it, you know, just eat the, uh, the custom wheels, and they'll go in the garbage, or they'll make a cool planter stand for the yard, for the wife, or something. I mean, they're, they are kinda cool. If I had, uh, I think if I had the earlier brakes, the, like, I think it's SN95, uh, they're smaller. Of course, if I had those, the actual shorter, so I wouldn't need the custom offset in the first place. I could just get a regular offset, so it, it doesn't. It just negates it. And I've went back and forth, like, can I fit those? Can I retrofit the SN95 brakes on here? But they have. It looks like their uh, emergency brake or parking brake system is inside, like it's a drum inside a rotor kind of design and the hangers are in a different place and they're different sizes I, I called lmr they were really helpful i really like let's say they're probably the guys to go to for all these you know mustang ford related questions and supplies i you know i'm using all their uh stuff that i can get from the little fancy in link set to the ring and pinion gear and all that good stuff so uh so yeah i looked at that i, I searched like drag race brakes and i didn't really come up with anything to uh 
you know, as far as like a smaller like drag race package that fits in wheels or whatever. The problem is I need the, the offset to be relatively shallow. Uh, if I could get a two inch uh, forward spacing, so I had, you know, the, on, on a, the 10 inch wheel was pretty good. Uh, I was able to get something out of these. At least I was holding them up, taking measurements, see how they, they fit. Uh, and, and I think that what I really need to do is I, I need to get a nine inch wheel uh, with a one and a half inch, so it'd be like seven and a half inch back spacing. Uh, and they sell welds uh, with that. I mean, welds you can get in crazy, up to like, what will that, you know, pretty much any size. The, the deal with the welds though is they have the drag light, which are kind of like the old school with the little holes, like the maybe the center lines, but with the holes in them. Or they have like the, the weld stars, which is like a star. Uh, but I think in the future on the front brakes, I'd like to upgrade. They have a kit where you can retrofit the front brakes uh, from a C5 Corvette onto the front. So then you get a hub instead of like this wheel bearing assembly kind of deal. And you're just able to swap hubs out and you got a wheel bearing. Uh, I like that idea. I just think that's easier to deal with for maintenance wise. And they're bigger. They're, they're obviously way bigger brakes and better uh, braking technology so I would like to add that I think that's gonna bump it up where I have to have a minimum of a 16 maybe a 17 inch wheel in the front so um, so probably gonna be stuck with 17s is, is kind of the takeaway on it uh, I might order that that uh, weld wheel I'm, I'm kind of in the air what I did do is I got the tires that I knew or the wheels that I knew would actually fit and I went online and there was a guy that was uh, selling these. One of them's like completely biffed right there, that uh, curb thing. And uh, they're, they're billet wheels. And these guys have some trash slicks on them, <laughs> which are good because these are set. These are known. These are 26 by 11 and a half by 17. So I know it's 26 inches tall. I know it's 11 and a half inches wide. Uh, and I'm able to use this to look at these tires, look at tires that are available for the 17 inch wheel. I think I'm like at a two, if I get a 245.55 or 245.60, will fit on here, have a little bit of sidewall so it wouldn't look that funny and uh it would be eight inches so actually quite a bit narrower than this which this will work i have actually put it up there to the car it's kind of tight it needs a little more offset but uh but we'll see so I, I what i plan on doing is getting those guys on the car putting the other wheels on the front of the car and i'd like to let's see how the tires fit and see if we can set the car down on the ground. So I know that the, the tire wheel situations kind of got me stumped and that's that, that's that's a bit of a self-inflicted wound. What I probably should have done is just get the Explorer wheel, cut down the axle and smack it in and it probably would have probably would have been good. Uh, but a little bit of overconfidence and a little bit of uh, laziness mixed together and this is where we are at. So. Uh, but I don't, you know, I've already put all the work into the axle. I don't want to chuck it out. I can get the custom offsets if I need to. I can mess around with tire sizes if I need to. And I can roll this uh, wheel well. The only thing I worry about on the wheel well is if you see, um, so it actually comes out quite a bit right here and then it has like this massive like inch and a half lip that we can, we can trim, we can roll, whatever. But the problem is, is it's right, like you only get like two inches, maybe three inches and it's right back into the body. So you see like this. So to get that out a little bit, we'd actually have to push the bodywork out, it looks like. Yeah, to kind of roll that fender out a little bit. And I'm not sure how well that would work. So all kinds of problems and we're gonna sort through some of them. Maybe, maybe, I hope so.
Well, there we go. We are not hitting anything at all. And uh, yeah, I got, I mean, you see right here, these guys are 11 and a half, well, I should probably measure it out. I'll, I'm gonna do all the math on the measuring. Uh, there is much smaller ones. So this is with, a lot. To, I'm gonna, again, have to measure everything out. I believe this is an eight inch rim with a seven and, and a quarter, no, seven and three quarters. It's either seven and a quarter or seven and three quarters backspacing. It was in offset, so I had to convert it and whatever. So, uh, so I believe this is an eight inch wheel and as I say seven, it's not seven. It's like five and three quarters or something like that. So it's only two, I think it's two and three quarters of, of wheel forward if that makes sense. If you take the, the center line, it would be pushed forward. So you'd only have uh, two and three quarters inch from the plate from here to here. If that makes sense from here to there is as two and three quarters of an inch. If the math uh, based off of what I found on the internet's right. So if I push this guy back, I can get an inch and a half. So this would be two and three quarters of an inch. So that would drop quite a bit off of how far it was. Those nines, uh, the nine inch wide with the uh, seven and a half inch back spacing, that would put that guy back about an inch further and I could run my, so these guys are 11 inch. These guys here are eight inches at the top. So I'll let's do a drip side by side. They look really big, but they're not. See, these are a hair taller, but also quite a bit narrower at this part. So that will make it so it kind of pushes out a little bit to seal on the rim and then kind of curves in to clip that thing. Not that it really matters. I mean, the car's sitting high and I'm not going to lower it. This is how she's going to roll down the road. Uh, so. So, uh, let me get you a shot from here. So, it is, it's not bad. There's probably a couple inches on that tire of clearance. There's a lot in the front suddenly. It wasn't like that before. Before it kind of sat down further. I think because we put the new springs on the back and raised it up a little bit, it must have, must have did something with the center of gravity where it shifted some of the weight off the nose, I'm guessing. Oh, try to push it down. No, it wants to stay right where it's at. So, but anyway, that this is good. This is good progress right here. That means I could throw street tires on these Ford uh, Mustang wheels and just drive it as is. It wouldn't be the prettiest thing. I've also found these these billet style wheels. They make a similar like 17s uh, for the front of these guys. I can get kind of paint them both the same to look kind of the same and uh, and run those. Corvette brakes on the front that I was talking about, the 17 inches. And that wheel well looks like it could probably use a little bit of filling out now that the back tires are on and it's kind of sitting a little higher. I'm not, I'm not a stance guy, you know. The car is not about the looks. I mean, it's about the performance. I, I kind of want to keep it kind of shitty looking. I'm okay with that. Uh, but there's a weird mix of nice that goes along with shitty to get it, get it to your happy spot, the place where you're like, yeah, that, that does it for me. That's what I want to get with this guy. So, so I'm okay. I, I'm, uh, and this is good because those wheels came in. Those steel wheels came in Friday. It is Sunday now, and I went to get the tires yesterday. The uh, Mustang wheels yesterday. I had to drive all the way across to the other side of Houston. So if you're Houston is literally, uh, you can spend two hours driving from one side of Houston to the other side. So I'm in Magnolia. I had to drive down to Sugarland and back and then it was raining yesterday and people on, uh, in Houston are idiots. They don't know how to drive in the rain. Someone wrecked on the freeway. Uh, luckily, no one was hurt. However, they jammed up the entire freeway so I couldn't get off an off ramp and I was literally stuck just parked on the freeway for probably a good half hour, I'm guessing. Uh, but it could have been worse. So, so anyway, but point being is like I've been stressing out about these damn tires. And I was just totally bummed that I, I spent uh, I think we're like 350 to get those two wheels made and have them shipped out here and uh, just really kind of annoyed by the customer uh, interaction with that company. So, um, and I just been letting that kind of weigh on my mind 
too much and also just worried about this because I've had so much time into that axle. Uh, so I'm glad this is working out. I will say, you know, hindsight being 2020, it would be nice in the future to really measure that out. I, I should have measured that axle out better and instead of thinking to myself, you know, I can scrape by with the skin of my teeth with, with some offset chain, you know, changing up some offsets and stuff. I could have got the the the, er, the next the earlier the SN95 like the 2000 or 95 to 2004 axle it's narrower the Fox body is narrower again and I actually have a Fox body but it had drum brakes on it and four uh, four lugs and I didn't want to do the spend the money for the conversion um, I wasted a lot of money on those wheels so truth be known I'm probably nowhere. Uh, and time so I'm, I'm not really any better off than had I just got the proper size axle in the first place so that's good now I can get this guy on the ground I can measure for the drive shaft because that's something that's going to take a little bit of time uh, they said to measure it loaded and unloaded so I'll be able to take those measurements uh, from this guy and then I haven't look I haven't put any of the turbo shit on because all week long I was kind of annoyed and I didn't want to get covered with fiberglass, but I'm gonna to have to get covered with fiberglass, so we're gonna to have to get that done. Uh, but in the meantime, super happy about the uh, the wheels, the tires, tires and wheels kind of going on, y'all. And I don't think that's a bad deal. At least we know we can drive it, because that's that's the thing that matters the most is being able to get in your shit box and go. And then we'll sort through the rest of the little bits and pieces as we can. So super happy. I know I keep saying that, but I really, ha I really am happy. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go on to uh, measuring stuff and probably putting stuff back on and getting covered with fiberglass. Yeah.